Corvo. Emily's hiding again. It started as a game, but it's turned into her way of teasing me. If you see her, will you send her back to me? It's time for her studies. Originating from evacuated villains. Pendleton's here someplace. The river's the only way out of here. Do you need me to build something for you? I can make anything, practically. to you, Corvo. I imagine you made that masquerade a lively event. I doubt there will be another high society party that will live up to it. very well over the river. It can be heard for half a league out sometimes. It seems like every shore I pilot... Hello, sir. Attention Dunwall citizens, the streets adjacent to Boyle Manor remain off-limits pending an ongoing investigation. Now we've done away with a woman, and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. Personally, I heard you upheld my name in a rather spectacular style, and at some risk to yourself. I want to thank you for it. This little item has been helpful to my family over the generations. But I think you'll find more use for it than I ever will. Go on. Take it. You've had a long night, Corvo, but I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now, in Havelock's chambers above the bar. Attention. You are required to cooperate with overseers as you would members of the City Watch and...
guard. They speak with the Lord Regent's authority. I trust you enjoyed the Boyle's hospitality. from Callista. It's a game we like to play. I remember playing hide and seek with you too. I don't know why it's so much fun to hide from her. Here. This was at the edge of the river, in the mud. I put it under my pillow for good luck, but it gave me bad dreams. You can have it, as a present. I suppose I'll do my lessons now. Hiding gets boring after a while anyway. Attention Dunwall citizens, you are urged to consider presenting children between the ages of 7 and 10 to the Abbey to be tested. As overseers, they will be well provided for and serve the well-being of the community and the city. Corvo, the time has come. Everything we have done, everything that you have done, has served to make this moment possible. The Lord Regent is exposed, Corvo. Vulnerable. And now everything is in place to strike at him. But one step from the throne. One man, one beating heart, is all that's left of the forces that brought this city to the brink of ruin. It is simple, but it will be far from easy. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an all-time high. He has lost the support of the Overseers, the Parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov, who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower, he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming. And everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterlock. Last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. Attention Dunwall citizens, the streets adjacent to Boyle Manor remain off-limits pending an ongoing investigation. Do you need me to build something for you? I can make anything.
ready to face the Lord Regent? About time we took care of my say. Long past time. This is it, Corvo. The last memories of Dunwall Tower might not be good ones, huh? So maybe you can make up for what happened back then. It'll be a bit of a climb from the water lot. Most important thing is killing the Lord Regent. He built himself quite a place at the top of the tower. He calls it his safe room or something. Crazy if you ask me. Another point of interest while I'm giving you the grand tour, Corvo broadcast control station here where all them announcements come from might be worth looking into. You ready? Next time I see you, the Lord Regent will be dead. And if not, well, it was an honor to serve with you. Remain on post until you receive further orders. Don't you love the view from here? This place makes me sad. Why is that? This is where the Empress was killed by that wretched murderer. Everything changed for the worse after that day. It was a dark day for sure, but things were already bad with the plague. In any case, I wouldn't dwell on it. Let me comfort you. I need to get back to work. 
Can I come by and see you later? I don't think it's a good idea tonight. Down there, General. There have been reports of disturbances in the tower courtyard. We have men checking on it. Double the guards, triple them. How many times must I tell you? I hold the everyone will just do what needs to be done. Yes, Lord Regent. Since the rooftop is secure, you should stay in the safe room for now. 
My men and I will ensure no one gets up to you. Yes, you do that, General. Don't let the intruder get past you. I'm heading up to make sure the region is safe. Yes, General. A citywide ban on whale oil is now in effect. Citizens are encouraged to bring any whale oil in their possession to the city watch at once. Anyone caught burning oil will be subject to arrest. This message is a directive from the Lord Regent himself. We must all trust in the Regent. Please don't hurt me. You're here to kill the Regent, aren't you? Spare my life, and I can help you beat him. He makes recordings on audiograph, secrets. Some that would destroy him if others heard. Played on this amplifier, his confessions would be broadcast throughout the city. He'll be ruined. The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room. But I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. Good luck. His chambers can be reached by the balcony.
patrol with you. Rounds over here? <laughs> what the void was that? the city get any worse? Indeed, I believe so. If I explain, then you will see I am not at fault. My poverty eradication plan was meant to bring prosperity to the city, to rid us of those scoundrels who waste their days in filth and drink without homes or occupations other than to beg for the coin for which the rest of us toil. And it was a simple plan. Bring the disease-bearing rats from the Pandician continent and let them take care of the poor. The plan worked perfectly at, at first. What are you doing? When the rats opened oh, up, they sought to undo me. They hid from the catchers and it's bred over, a sick rate. Soon it didn't done. matter. Rich, no. poor, all were falling Which sick. You let me go? Then people you. began to ask. You nearly questions. destroyed the city. No the Emperor assigned me to investigate whether the rats had been imported by a foreign power. Yes, sir. I knew the truth would come out eventually, so there was no other way than to be rid of her and take power myself. She had to die, you see. She had to die. Bringing about the death of an Empress is not an easy thing. But give it a chance to attack the plague with some real authority. Quarantines, deportation of the sick. There's always some idiot woman searching for her wretched lost babe, or some sniveling workman searching for his missing wife. And then quarantine is broken. But you can see how my plan should have worked. Would have worked if everyone had just followed orders. This train needs to go to the torture. I mean, the royal interrogator. Oh no. Why do I have to take it? He's harmless, unless you're scheduled for execution or for questioning. He's so strange. Always working on something he keeps secret. And he has that brutal calm to Gentle as a lamb. We got a prowler on the loose.
Sir. I've been hearing strange noises from the end of the hallway. Probably coming. What? No! What in the... of your enemy's stronghold. You're an unstoppable force, it seems, but also unpredictable. The Lord Regent lives despite all he's done, and that is most surprising. The last year must have been agony for such a tightly wound man, watching as the plague spiraled out of control, as people on the streets went mad and died bleeding from the eyes knowing that it was all his fault. As you hunted down his people one by one, and finally came for him, he must have realized that all his planning was for nothing, and that must have been exquisitely terrifying. But in the end, you chose the more measured response. What will that mean in the days to come, I wonder? I've lived a long, long time. And these are the moments I wait for. to her again. She has to stop.
Is it all done? You ready to go back to the Hound Pits? Thanks to you, Corvo. All right, let's go. Big changes. Makes me uneasy to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. But maybe it's going to be different now. The Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new high overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The others are in the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Congratulations, Corvo. Did you kill anybody tonight? How many? Once known as the Lord Regent, is no longer in power. His corrupt and illegitimate regime has come to a close. Long live the Empress. That's it. The Lord Regent's done. Farewell to Hiram Burroughs, you scheming piece of shit. Now we can bend the law to pardon our past crimes, Corbin. We'll find out. The assassin the Lord Regent sent to butcher the Empress. Then you can have your revenge. We'll have to move fast to clean up his mess. The armed forces will do their job. Martin has control of the overseers. And you, Trevor, do whatever it is you do with part. That's Lord Trevor Pendleton to you. Without me, you'll never command the nobility. They'll tear you apart like a fish. Sorry, Corvo. We're nervous. Your work is done, and ours begins. The coronation will be an impromptu affair, but it still requires much preparation. Most of it we can handle, but there is the matter of security. Emily will be vulnerable to whoever killed her mother. I doubt history will repeat itself, but you must be sharp and wary tomorrow. He's right. Rest. Restore yourself. Raid Piero's wares. Restock your ammo and make yourself ready. Just in case. To Corvo. The man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Caldwell, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. Have you given Emily much spiritual education? The Seven Strictures? The Litany and the White Cliff? I... no. I lack the qualifications, Overseer. Uh, hi. I used to enjoy company. Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. Why I 
keep sticking my neck out for you eludes me. But I only gave you half the poison, Corvo. They were watching me do it, but not close enough. Maybe you'll survive it. I can hardly blame them for turning on you, after all the people slaughtered in the name of this cause. Those are crimes of state, and maybe they figure it'd be too hard to control Emily with you around. Could be they're right on that score. I'll drop you in a boat, then I've got to ship out myself before they smother me in my sleep. That's the next thing. Makes the most sense. If you're lucky, you'll wake up and find your way out of this doomed city. If not, well, goodbye. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poisoned. Tivian stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to doubt. to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your empress. But I don't know you, who you are, and who you fight for. They're a mystery, and I can't allow them. Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire, and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man. 